The evolutionist concept has been disseminated by different branches of human knowledge, just as mushroom spores are spread on a cool breeze. Each new season, countless spores are released into the autumn air by the mushroom kingdom. Over the period of a few days, each organism tries to reproduce to the best of its ability. The primitive strategy used by these beings consists of creating many, many countless possibilities for survival. Each of these reproductive cells will find its own fortune. The wind will blow them in similar directions, but no two will alight on the exact same spot. The unique genetic code written on the chromosomes of each cannot be repeated. They may be quite similar or nearly identical, but some will triumph and others the vast majority will not. Some will be breathed in by an animal, others will fall into the water, and almost none of the rest of them will find an appropriate place to land, and therefore will not survive. But with luck, one of these spores, perhaps just fractionally rounder or more aerodynamic than the others, will be able to fly higher on the air turbulence created by insects, or will be more capable of holding up thanks to this year's lower humidity levels. And when it lands in the perfect place with the ideal adaptations, it will grow and prosper there where its siblings couldn't. At last, when it reaches the moment of reproduction, its own spores will incorporate those variations in its chromosomes that helped it find success and its improved design will have a tendency to perpetuate itself in this environment. This is the essence of the changing life that Darwin understood and interpreted for humanity.